Hey, yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Holla at your boy, baby. Welcome back to the Pastor Smell Good YouTube channel, where the sin is always lovely and the siage is absolutely divine. I greet you guys in the name of peace, prosperity, and whoop, whoop, oh yes, perfumery. It's a great day to be coming back, dishing out some content to my favorite people on all of YouTube, the wonderful, lovely inhabitants of FRAGCOM. Guys, before I get into today's video, I want to thank everybody for the excitement, for the engagement, and for everything you guys are doing to help me build the Pastor Smell Good YouTube channel. At this point in my YouTube journey, I should be well over probably 2,000, 2,500 subscribers now, but you guys know what ended up happening. And I took some time off because things got a little bit hectic in life, but hey, it's summertime. Your boy is back. Thank you guys for what you do. Continue to help me to get to 1,000 subscribers. We coming for it all on the Pastor Smell Good YouTube channel. So 1,000 subscribers is a short-term goal, and we know the sky's the limit to what we can have. Let's get into today's video. Let me shout out my fragrance brother, Bro Sense. I think all the way out in California from the boot. We are grateful for you tagging the Pastor Smell Good YouTube channel in a shout out to the Godfather. Kevin Samuels, who uh, I can personally say I was with Kevin Samuels in the fragrance game when he was just trying to get to 10,000 subscribers well before he began to blow up and well before he took another path with dating, coaching and all of that other stuff that I just wasn't in the market for. But let me tell you something. When you talk about Kevin Samuels and fragrance, I'm glad to say that I was one of those people who was there when he was just trying to build some type of following on YouTube. Check out my channel as well for another list of fragrances. I did a video on that that Kevin actually inspired me to make purchases for. So go ahead and check out that video on your time. But let's get to business. Bro, since you tagged me, I want to go ahead and respond. What an eight cent smell good would recommend for you to bring to the office. Let me say this before we talk about the scents. When I think about the office, uh, I can't really say I work in that setting. You guys know I'm an educator, I'm a pastor, so um, I'm not in so much an office scent, um, uh, office sense. I'm normally around a lot of people all the time. So I just did, did what I could in those two professions and everything and came up with my list. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first house I wanna bring you to as it relates to office scents that are going to be inoffensive, that are going to be quite easy to wear. It's going to be the house of John Barbados. Now, those of you that know anything about designer houses, you know John Barbados has never been accused of making a beast mode fragrance. That has not happened. He has never been accused of making a very heavy fragrance, a dense, rich fragrance that's just so powerful and just so, you know, uh, you know, something to just make people be like, whoa, what you got on? That's never been a house of John Barbados, okay? Smooth operator type scents. But the first scent that I would recommend from the house of John Barbados would be honestly artisan. Guys, I'm not gonna waste your time getting into the notes with this particular scent, but let me tell you this, this is very citrusy and this is evocative to me of the orange rind. Not only am I picking up the orange juice thing out of this scent, uh, the juicy zestiness of the orange, but this scent is, it, it kind of carries the orange peel thing too. So listen, if you want to smell citrusy in your office, look no further. If you want to smell light and inoffensive in your um, office, look no further. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And listen, it's hot as fish grease in Louisiana. This type of stuff works in this type of uh, summer climate, guys. So the first scent that I would recommend to someone to get that's going to be easy, not going to be expensive. You're going to get 120 ounces. Uh, this scent, honestly, this just really does it in that area. Okay, so I would say John Barbados um, Artisan. Now, the other two John Barbados scents I want to share with you these scents are going to allow you to be flexible. So if you're in an office setting in the summertime, yeah, I want you to go with John Barbados Artisan. But if you're in the office and let's say it's spring and summer, uh, uh, I'm sorry, spring and fall, I got something for you with that too. The first one here I want to go with is the original John Barbados by John Barbados. This is a very nice, light, inoffensive scent to me as well. 
but it carries a little bit more weight. You get some dates in here, you get some hay in here, you get some herbal notes, uh, you're gonna get a caramel note, you're gonna get a leather note, you're gonna get some amber. This scent has a little bit more body compared to something like the original uh, John Barbados Artisan. This scent is the one that I would recommend to you to wear um, in the spring if you're in the office. This carries a very clean, subtly sweet, uh, fragrance nuance to me and it's very masculine to me as well because you know that leather note is definitely noticeable in here and I just find leather to be very masculine so this would be a great scent to do that with uh, John Barbados by John Barbados when you go into the fall this is what I want you to do with this one here when you go into the fall this will be a great John Barbados scent to wear in the office John Barbados vintage what I like about this scent is it carries a tobacco note uh, it carries a cinnamon note, I believe, as well, and there's some rhubarb in here. Um, so what I like about this scent is it's very masculine, and it appeals to one of my favorite notes in all the perfumery, and that is tobacco. This is not going to be overpowering. Uh, this scent is going to give you a lovely scent bubble. Uh, if you work in a cubicle scent, this is absolutely perfect. You are not going to be leaping over and across cubicles being offensive to people when you put on John Barbados Vintage. If you work in an office setting where, guys, you're putting on a suit or maybe you're just putting on some slacks, a button down and a tie, bow tie, this type of stuff will move with you. You can dress this one up. You can dress this one down. I would use this scent for like tier one and tier two dress. That's just me. All right. So John Barbados Vintage. Get your nose on this if you can. In these two scents I've shown you from John Barbados, I do own the 120 ounce bottles as well. But I just didn't feel like coming out here with all of this today. It's hot. So I'm just trying to keep this as simple as I possibly can. All right, moving right along, what's another uh, scent I would recommend for someone to wear in the office? You guys know I'm a very big fan of the Terre d'Air Hermes line. So with that being said, I want you to get the parfum. Get the parfum. You're in an office. You're going to do a whole work day. You want something that's going to give you longevity. You want something that's going to give you a decent sillage, but it's not going to be projecting all throughout the office. Listen, most people love juicy, citrusy scents. You're going to get that with this bad boy here due to that punch from the uh, orange and the uh, grapefruit note. You're going to get some earthiness in here and you're going to get a little bit of benzoin that's going to put a little bit of dimension on this scent. It's going to weigh the scent down just a little bit more. So if I need to get my Tear Dare Air Mask fix in the office, I'm going to put on the parfum. It's not going to project as much, but it's going to give me an awesome scent bubble. When I pass by people, they're going to know I smell clean. I smell citrusy. I smell fresh. That's good for the office. Also, this is one of the notes that works very well in the office. The note of vetiver. Okay. Vetiver is your friend if you're working in the office. Let me tell you why. Because you always want to smell clean. Guys, I've never done a poll on it. But if you had to poll people across all walks of life, across the spectrum, across the board, most people prefer fragrances that smell fresh and clean versus all of the daring scents that some of us frag heads are so crazy about. So, for example... If you had to ask people, what scent do you like more, a gourmand edible scent or a fresh, clean scent, most people will say they like fresh and clean. Well, if you want to do fresh and clean in the office, I recommend the note of vetiver. And with that being said, we're going to keep it simple, but we're going to keep it profound. Boom. Tom Ford's Great Vetiver EDP. Yes, this is where I want you going. Guys, I know there's a parfum out there. I have not put my nose on that. So I'm not going to get on uh, YouTube and start talking about stuff that I have not put my nose on yet. I highly recommend that you guys will get Tom Ford's Grave Vetiver. Listen, this is woodsy. This is green. Uh, this is super clean. This is very easy to wear. And guys... You talk about a year-round office scent, look no further than Tom Ford's Great Veteran.
moving right along. We talking about green and clean, right? If you want to get in that office and you want to smell green and clean, this is a scent I'm going to recommend to you. And I recommend this bottle I'm going to show you. It don't last long, but you can spray it all day long because you're going to need to. Mm. Ter uh, Thierry Mugler's Mugler Cologne. Yes, this stuff just works for the office. Listen, if you want to smell like you just stepped fresh out of the shower and didn't put anything on, go with Mugler Cologne. Be forewarned. You're going to get two hours out of it. But if you got something like this, excuse yourself to the restroom. Go ahead and make you some uh, vials. And hey, put it in your pocket and you can go reapply. This stuff works, guys. And I'm going to be the one to tell you, this is not one of my favorite scents by far. This is not one of my favorite green clean. But let me tell you guys, this has mass appeal. People are crazy about this scent. Bergamot. Musk. It just works. Take my word for it. All right. Let me move on. This is another scent that I want to show you real quick that I think works good for the office. Not because I smell it, but because people smell me and they tell me it is super pleasant. Molecule 01. Molecule 01. Right here, guys. Molecule 01. This is supposed to be an ISO E super fragrance molecule that I don't smell very often. Watch, I'm gonna just spray something out here. I'm sitting on the porch for you. Very floral, like white floral, like some jasmine in there or something, but it's very woody. OK, that's what the ISO E Super Note does. And people are crazy about this. I've had people come up to me when I don't smell a thing and say, oh, my gosh, what is that you got on? Eccentric Molecule. I'm sorry, Molecule 01. That's it. That's all. Get you some of this stuff, guys, and just twiddle your thumbs. Um, you cannot overspray it, honestly. Um, you can't find a way to really mess this up. So I just really recommend Molecule 01. All right. Let me go ahead and show you guys my last one. And I'm gonna try to keep it very, very simple with this. This one was in the running with Dior Sauvage, but guess what? That's one of the most popular mainstream scents. So if you're in your office, somebody gonna probably smell like you. So if you wanna stay in that same vein, you already know where I'm going. Blue de Chanel Parfum, yes. Blue de Chanel Parfum. This stuff just does it for me. Oh, it's absolutely awesome. Blue de Chanel Parfum. Go ahead and get you some of this woody, blue, aquatic. Uh, got some pineapple in here. You're going to get some rose. You're going to get some amber. Listen, guys, this is the way to go. This is so inoffensive, guys. Look no further than Blue de Chanel. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. These are just eight of my top office scents. Maybe you can use them. Maybe not. But whatever the case is, always make sure you're smelling like a dream. Holla at your boy.